Tough day for a local family. Their four-year-old dog is recovering right now after Newport News police shot it while responding to a burglary call. It happened today on Kingsbury Drive right off Warwick Boulevard. Chinuhurst spoke to the dog's owner about what happened. It's an interview you'll see only on 13 News Now. Police say when they got to the home here on this street, they told the woman inside of the house to secure the dog, but her husband says before she was able to do that, the dog lunged out of the front door and bit the officer on the arm. What started out as a police response to a burglary call ended with Matthew Rogers' dog, Brock, shot. In a situation like that, of course, it's very upsetting as far as him getting shot. One of the two officers shot Brock after he bit the other. Matthew's wife immediately took the dog to the vet. I don't know if he was shot twice or if he the bullet had went through his head and came out another out um, another part of his body and hit his toe. But um, I do know uh, there was a fracture of his toe that needs to be amputated and um, he was shot in the head. The last thing an officer wants to do is shoot a canine. Uh, you know, do anything else besides that. But if it resorts to that, unfortunately, that's something we may have to do. The officer who was bitten only had minor injuries. Brock's condition, however, is still up in the air, which is hard for Matthew and his wife to handle because their other dog just died earlier this month. These incidents, this is just horrible. You know, these, like I said, these dogs are like our kids, so. I don't know. Despite the tough situation this family is facing right now, they're not pointing fingers at anyone, just wrestling with how things played out. Things happen the way that they happen, and we can't change it. So, like I said, the only thing we can do is just pray for the best. And like I said, the officer did his job. I'm not upset at him. I'm, you know, hopefully he's okay. In Newport News, Chinu Hurt, 13 News Now. We are looking at a nice warm up this weekend, but not everything has melted yet. Some of that snow and ice is still hiding out there. There is concern it could refreeze overnight and students are headed to school tomorrow. Jeff, how cold would it get overnight? Well, temperatures are already in some spots down into the 20s and you would think, well, shouldn't everything refreeze? Believe it or not, with all the salt they put down, some of that runs off and mixes with the you know fresh water and it lowers the point, the temperature that you have to get to to cause everything to freeze up. So we are watching for some big changes. You can see right now some uh, nice clear skies across the region. Uh, essentially what we're talking about are those temperatures, as I meant, uh, mentioned, excuse me, that are a little bit chilly. So let's take a look at a couple of things here first. Uh, the roads are, I started to say the skies are clear. They are too, but the roads are clear there. Places like Settler's Landing Road and having a little trouble. This is not advancing for some reason. Let me uh, try this again. We'll do this one. Go back over here. For some reason, it is not advancing like it is supposed to. So let me try it one more time here. All right. You know what? Let me just try to. Now all of a sudden, it it is not. Here we go. I don't know what is wrong with this computer. Right now we're at 32 degrees. Dew point is at 21. Humidity 64%. So again, we can't go super low into the 20s, at least here right near the coastline, but some other areas will. The temperature and how cold it feels out there right now, again, this is not even close to being right. So I'm gonna throw it back to you guys and we'll try to get everything ready uh, and see what's up with this thing. All right, thanks, Jeff. All right, this is close to being right, <laughs> right on. The cold weather is leading to a different kind of car trouble. We're told car thefts are up in Norfolk this month. Since January 1st, 40 cars have been stolen across the city. Robert Boyd reports police say the cold weather is partially to blame. Well, Norfolk police say on these cold winter days and nights, people are getting in their car and starting it up in order to get the heat running. But here's the problem. People then get out of the car, leaving it unattended with the doors unlocked. When you hear 40 cars stolen this month alone, what goes through your mind? Uh, it's very surprising, actually. Jesse Booth lives and parks in Ghent, one of the areas that has been victimized by car thefts. You just lock your car, don't, don't walk away from it if your keys are in your car. It's a horrible idea. The advice seems pretty simple, but according to police, out of the 40 stolen vehicles this month, 55% of them had been running unattended or had keys left inside. Does it worry you that 40 cars have been stolen here uh, in the month of January? Yes, it does. It, it worries me a lot. Frederick Williams is in a band, which means thousands of dollars worth of instruments could be in his trunk at any time. Symbols, 
drums. He only parks in certain places. Definitely try to park under a street light or anything of that nature. When you hear about all these cars being stolen, what goes through your mind? It doesn't quite surprise me, but I am disappointed that it's happening. Felicia and Daniel rely on the buddy system. Did you like your car, honey? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you need to lock your car. Make sure you've locked you your car. Drive, you park in the driveway. Daniel Killebrew said he's already had a car stolen once and doesn't want it to happen again. It's a terrible feeling. First of all, it makes me feel angry. Secondly, I'm going to need to check my policy. And But it's 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 upsetting. If you have information on any of these thefts, you're being urged to call Norfolk Police. In Norfolk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now. All the snow days have students, teachers, and parents worried about upcoming exams. Students have not had a full week of classes since before the winter break. We've learned that midterms have been canceled in Newport News. The SOL schedule will also be changed. In Norfolk, school officials decided to delay midterm exams by one day. The kids are really out of the routine of school and I, I worry that their brains get a little rusty. I'm a little bit nervous because I have two midterms. The Norfolk teacher we talked to said she is posting lessons online so her students can keep up. She is also communicating through text messages if they have any questions. Snowstorms have their price today. An ODU economist estimated for us that last week's snowstorm cost the region $20 million in retail sales. That's based on the assumption that people stay home when it snows and don't spend as much money. Small businesses take a hit. People cancel appointments at hair salons. They stay home instead of eating out in restaurants. In some cases, people aren't making money or spending it. Those people who work in hourly jobs will see a smaller paycheck because of it. A lot of our daytime appointments are moms who are coming when their kids are in school and their kids aren't in school. All right, we also learned today that when the weather gets better, people tend to overspend, but the region will still see losses from storms like we've seen lately. Hampton Roads is out of the running for Amazon's second headquarters. Today, the company announced their top 20 list of contenders and Virginia Beach did not make the cut. Northern Virginia is still in the running. A number of big cities across the South and Northeast made the list as well, including Atlanta, Nashville, Pittsburgh, and Boston. Amazon says it will spend $5 billion wherever it builds and employ 50,000 people. The company expects to make a final decision sometime this year. Police at Christopher Newport University are investigating a possible sexual assault. A student reported it happened outside a campus building Tuesday night. According to the college's online crime log, the reported attack happened around 11.30 p.m. outside Gosnold Hall. The student sent an alert, the school sent an alert to the community that said the student did not know the attacker. Police believe the man left on a bicycle. They are still searching for him tonight. In Norfolk, police are looking for two men who were involved in a reported home invasion at Norfolk State University. It happened Monday afternoon. Police say two men forced their way into a dorm room and held three people at gunpoint. They took money and other items before running away. If you recognize these men in the surveillance photos, call the crime line.